everyone. I just went shopping at a bunch of stores on Forest Friday and the day before it. That was the day when a whole bunch of stores open at midnight and sell the new Star Wars stuff from the new movie that's coming out. So I have about 12 minutes of shopping footage and then I'm going to show you all the stuff in all these bags. It's way too much to fit in the camera. And I'm going to split it up into Star Wars stuff and non-Star Wars stuff. So just click to the end of the video right here if you want to see the toys the non-Star Wars and the Star Wars, or watch the store footage right now. So my first stop was a GameStop. It's a really nice GameStop with lots of stuff in stock. They had a whole bunch of really cool pop vinyls. I found an R2-D2 and a white Murloc, which is really cool. They also had some older, old, slightly old Star Wars toys, um, but I didn't buy any because later that night I'm going to buy a whole bunch of brand new ones from the, the new movie. They had some really cool plushes, like Nintendo and uh, pop vinyl plushes, and some dorbs and other types of cool things, and uh, some nice little keychains. That, that was a pretty cool R2-D2 keychain. A whole bunch of blind boxes, really cool different ones. They had the Heroes of the Storm blind boxes, which I've been seeing around for a few months and I hadn't bought any but I just found out that there were some characters in there that I want, so I decided to get some today. They were pre-ordering Mad Max video games, and you get a car if you pre-order that. Then I went to this Toys R Us, and uh, they had a really cool logos on the door for the Force Friday, and I just thought I'd show that. And here they have all the shelves empty. Here's a countdown timer for when Force Friday starts and the shelves are totally, almost totally bare, except for a few old things, but they're making room for all the new stuff later that night, and I thought it looked pretty cool, so I filmed that a little bit. Then I went over to the action figure area where they had some pop vinyls and some cool G.I. Joe stuff, and this, what is this, Evolve video game, I think? I haven't played it. Uh, really nice figures, though. I almost want to buy them, even though I have no idea what it is. And they had a, a bigger one over here, a big monster evolved figure. I don't know what they're called, sorry. But it, it was really nice. And they had a whole bunch of Pokemon. They, they went crazy with the new Pokemon stuff on this day. There was a ton of stuff I wanted. I didn't get everything, but they had all these... Um, they, they had the, these mega sets, which I still want, but they, again, did not have all three... So I did not get any nice setup there showing you some of the new figures. They had the um, first stage evolution set right there and some large action figures, which I got one of each, I think. The uh, Venusaur, Blastoise, Charizard, and the uh, the other one, was it a Go-Goat or the Evolution? And the um, Groudon and Kyogre and a bunch of really cool stuff. I didn't... I think um, I didn't get that Lucario, but they had a lot of really nice stuff. And this Link, I wanted, but I forgot to buy it, so I actually bought that later in the day after midnight at the Star Wars thing. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for those different color new Jurassic World things. They didn't have any, but they had the Growlers, the new Velociraptor Growlers, all three of them, so I got those. Those are the Pokemon things I really want, but they're really expensive. They're like $30. And uh, they had these weird pillows. There is like a Link and a Mario 8-bit uh, pillow. Weird. And I didn't buy any of these, but these car things were kind of cool. They're like Micro Machine Disney cars. And then these bigger ones, which were some cool vehicles, like an RV. And uh, then they had some minions. This is, what is this, like a uh, life-size minion or something? It's huge. And uh, some other cool minion toys. I like the movies, uh, Despicable Me and all that. Then they had uh, really cool alien figures. Uh, this bishop was awesome, but it kind of creeped me out that he was only half a figure. I think I remember that part in the movie, and it was kind of scary because I saw it when I was a kid. Uh, they had some reaction figures. I think I finally decided to get that um, the other Gremlins figures that I didn't have before. And they were having a sale, and I was looking for some some cheap ones. If you if you check out the prices there. $7 instead of 10 Actually, some of them were 6 So I bought some of the older figures that I had not bought before. And a really nice alien figure. 
uh, Xenomorph. Uh, in the Amiibo section, they, they are restocking in the Silver Marios, which is very cool. They had uh, probably at least ten of them. And uh, a bunch of the usual ones. And up here, they, they had uh, one Pac-Man. So I got that. And then they had some cool Disney Infinity figures. Clear ones, like um, a bunch of really nice clear looking figures. I, I don't have that game though. And some Tron figures. Uh, is that from the same game? Disney Infinity? I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like it. They're, those were really nice though. I might I might buy those um, just because they're cool to look at. Or I, I, maybe I should just get the game. I don't know. It'd tell me if the game is good or not because I, I haven't um, seen it or what it does. This is the Power Wheels section, I think. Um, they they had a nice Mario go-kart type of Power Wheels and a really cool scooter. It's it's almost like a life-size scooter. And it says Mini on it, like the car company. It's $150, though. It's really expensive. And they had some cool Amiibo cases. Oh, actually, this is a Best Buy store. I left the Toys R Us after I looked at the Power Wheels, and now I'm in a Best Buy store. Uh, Best Buy had a Wario. They had uh, actually three of them, uh, and I got one Wario. And they had some other cool figures, like they had Mario Party figures that I hadn't seen before. And uh, this other case, nice blue case. I like the question mark case better though, it looked cool. This is in the Best Buy um, store right by the doors. This is a fossil, 75% um, you, you put in you know, your quarters and you get a, a fossil. So let's see what I get. I had to put the camera down on the floor because I only had one hand. And it is a Dilophosaurus skull. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's uh, very nice. I wish I would have bought more of those. Alright, then I went to another GameStop and they had some really nice expensive statue type of figures. I didn't buy any. I almost bought these Back to the Future ones, but uh, they're about the same price or a couple dollars less online. So I thought maybe I'd just order them. They had some other cool figures. I'm just showing a different variety there. I, I kind of wanted that Batman. I forgot to buy it though. And I haven't got this Iron Man yet either. It's a really nice Iron Man. And uh, they had some comics. I think I bought that Groot one, but I'm not sure where it is. I think I lost it or I didn't buy it. I don't know. Here's the Lego Dimensions poster. They had a huge poster showing some of the Legos that are coming out. You can just uh, look at those and read the names and see if there's any that you like. There's a whole bunch that I like, especially the Back to the Future one. Um, I'm definitely getting that game when it comes out and some of the sets. I'm not sure how many sets, but... Uh, good, a good amount of them. Probably the Portal one. I don't know if they had the Portal set on this poster, but that's a really cool one. Here's some more blind boxes and stuffed animals. These are cute. Um, I got the the Groot and the Iron Man and uh, a Rocket Raccoon. Oh yeah, see there's my comic book. But I haven't seen it now since I got home. I, I think I lost the comic book. Here are some more expensive statues. And around the back side they have, uh, oh there's some pops, they have this awesome DeLorean, but their price is $60 and while I was in the store I looked it up on Amazon.com and I think it was like $41 or $42 on Amazon, so I did not get it at the store. Here's a different Toys R Us empty uh, Star Wars area, this is the Lego area I believe, and uh, they have a few older ones, there's some posters that they were going to put up later. And there's some old Jabba the Huts, which no one seems to want to buy. Probably because it's just too expensive. What is it, like $40 for that Jabba the Hut? More empty spaces. There's a guy over there putting stuff up. And some old cups, which were pretty cool. And more empty spaces. Uh, these are cool little skateboards with pictures on them. Um, some of them look like they're the same, though. And a nice uh, drinking cup for Yoda and... Pez dispensers. Those are cool. I kind of collect Pez sometimes. Uh, I probably should have bought those Pez. And here's the guy putting the thing up. I don't think he was supposed to be doing that though. That's That was like 4 in the afternoon and he's not supposed to do that till midnight. 
Uh, here's some more reaction figures. These are on sale also. And some Ninja Turtle, what are those, Mini Mates, I think. Uh, they finally had all four. I think the last time I went to a Toys R Us, they only had three of them, so I did not buy any. But this store had all four Ninja Turtles. They also had this weird thing called a stick bot. I'm not sure what it is, but they look pretty cool. They're cool colors. I think you're supposed to pose them in cool action shots and then take pictures of them. And it says to share the pictures on all your uh, media sites. Let's see, here are some minifigures. I think it's series 14. I'm not sure. It's the Halloween series. I got some of those. They had squid, uh, what do you call it? Splatoon? Um, squid boys and squid girls or whatever you call them. Uh, they, I still want the set with the, the squid that comes in it though, so I, I didn't get the single ones. Here is a weird random upside down uh, Jurassic World vehicle. I did not buy that though. Uh, I just put it back for someone else to find. More Pokemon. Um, I think the other store had the same Pokemon, but I bought some that I hadn't bought yet. Now I'm in a Target. The Target had these awesome new Terra figures. Uh, if you've seen my other older video, I had four old Terra dinosaurs, and now these two new ones are out. There's a T Rex and uh, another one. Uh, here's some pop finals. Oh, this is a Hot Topic. I, I left the Target, and now I'm in a Hot Topic. I got some Ghostbusters blind boxes, and they have a whole bunch of awesome blind boxes in this section right by the pop finals. I, so I got some, a couple, actually a, a good amount of pop vinyls, and I was going to buy that Ghostbusters Ecto-1, but uh, I think I did not. And I'm just checking out all the different blind boxes and blind bags that they have. They, those are the things I got right there. And uh, I got some keychains too, actually. And a uh, really nice selection of pop vinyls here. And I think I got that Grandpa Munster up at the top huge wall. Alright, here are some more older Legos. Or no, oh, these are the new ones. Wait. Yeah, these are the new ones. Um, this must be after midnight. I think I was filming and the guy that worked there told me to stop filming. So here's my one photograph that I snuck after he told me to stop filming. Alright, here's all the non-Star Wars stuff that I got. Well, most of it is non-Star Wars. Okay, first of all, I went to Target. And they had more of these Terra Dinosaurs. I got that one and also, oops, another one of those. And also they had this one here. Okay, this is from Kmart. These really thick activity books with tons of stickers. Where's the sticker pages? Look, look at all these sticker pages. Crazy amount of stickers. And this book is the same. There's some regular pages and then there's Sticker pages! Stickers, 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 stickers. Okay, that was from Kmart. Also, from the dollar store, I got some Hot Wheels. I got those, and that one. Actually, this one's from Walmart, but I took it out of the Star Wars Walmart bag. Also, at Dollar Tree, I got some of these Pokemon packs. Um that kind, and also some of these weird little horse blind bags. I don't know if you want to see that or not, but I I find those there sometimes. Okay, at Toys R Us, we got a Mega Charizard, we got Gremlin, uh, got that. We got the Growlers, wait, yeah. There should be two more Growlers somewhere. I don't know if they're in this bag or not. Got some of these. And I'm really looking for this one. I wanted to get that like pretty badly, but I can't find it anywhere. They also had these weird pillow things. They're flat. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they're awesome. Little 8-bit NES Nintendo characters. Okay, at a Hot Topic, they had some pop vinyls. This is one of the main things I've been wanting. I wanted to pre-order this, but it was like $50. But then I found it at Hot Topic for regular price. Actually, buy one, get one free, so it was like $9. And I had a gold bender. I kind of wanted a silver bender, but gold is fine. 
And that, this is not new, it's like older. Um, I'd been wanting this, I never got it, and I finally got it at Grandpa Munster. It had a chrome C-3PO. And uh, some of these blind boxes. Uh oh They have different characters on them. Oops, gotta see both sides. All right, next bag. So you gotta get some of this out of the way. Okay, here is the same Toys R Us as that other growler. I got that and that. And this. And the big giant Pokemon there. And that one. Here's the third growler. And I found a pretty cool Ant-Man figure. Alright, next bag. I think it was from the same Toys R Us because it has more Pokemon. I think I bought all the Pokemon at one place. That one. Got this plush one. It's kind of bent. We got... Oh, here's a Hot Topic bag. We got this alien, it's awesome. And another Pokemon. There was two of these. There was that and I didn't get that. I I forgot to get that. And I think I already have that one. Okay, and here is some blind bags, just four. We have two different types. I think they're keychains. Here is a GameStop bag. Went to a couple different GameStops. Okay, first of all, we have these. What are these called? Uh, Mokis. And there's also some of these Dorbs. I just got some of the characters I liked. I think they're all from Guardians of the Galaxy. They had two. They had, they had pretty much all of them, I think. Um, I had to decide between that one and this one without the mask, and I got that one. Because they're kind of cute. And I got these Heroes of the Storm things. I was not buying these for a while, but I found out they have some cool ones, like there's a Torrin. And I think there was one other one I wanted. Oh, these, these are cool. You get this for pre-ordering the Mad Max game, I think. Um, yeah, the game. It's really cool. This is a GameStop exclusive. They got a white murloc. They're usually green. The picture is green anyway, so I don't know. It's white. And there's some more of these. Here's the storm. And I got a couple Assassin's Creed minis. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, here's a picture. All right, here's a Best Buy bag. We got, oh, we got a GameStop bag inside. This is what I got at Best Buy. And there's also that and that. Okay, I think this is the last thing that is not Star Wars. There's a bunch of little stuff. I got some Pokemon. I got some more of these. Ones that I didn't have. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I didn't have that before. These were on sale. I didn't get them before, and so that was good. Got these, and some more Hot Wheels, more turtles, more turtles. I got one of these turtle. Oh, and these could change color. Check that out. Uh. Blind boxes, I think. Got some of those. And this thing is weird. You're supposed to pose it and take pictures or make videos or something. I don't know anything about it, but it looked cool. I had to decide what color I wanted because they're all different colors. Got that. Oh, we got three of these. They are Lego. Oh, no, I got four. 
Lego Mini Figures Series 14, I think? I don't know, it's the Halloween series. And I got some more turtle things. And more turtle things! Alright, I think all the rest of this is Star Wars uh, Force Friday stuff. Alright, uh, this, actually, I went to Walmart second. I waited in line at Toys R Us, and then later I went to Walmart a few hours later. Okay, so I got that. I got that. I got so this. is a weird thing. This is Bop It. I'm not sure what it does. If it has batteries or not. It's one of those Bop It games, but it's a R2-D2. Uh, I got a Chewbacca. I got a button. They were giving away free buttons. They were giving away cupcakes, and they were giving, giving away these things that I haven't looked at yet. I'm not sure what that is. But I got some of those. This is all those things. They just gave them to me. They're like, here, take them. Because I got there late. Alright, Toys R Us. We got a Lego set. We got five pops because that's, they only had these five at the, the one I went to. Got that Lego. We got that pop. And these two other pops. I wish I would have gotten... I would like the droids, but they didn't have them. Okay, the next day I, I went to sleep after the midnight thing and I woke up and then I went to Kmart. This is from Kmart. And... This is also from Kmart. I didn't get these the day before because everyone was sold out, but Kmart did have them. Alright, the rest is Toys R Us, I think. We got this large, what is that, a Boba Fett ship? I don't know. Where, yeah, Slave One. And we got this, what is it, a Y Wing? I got some figures. This, uh oh, did I get two of these? Or no, I think I got two. Get these figures. Stormtrooper. And this little speeder bike. Okay, next bag. I think it's just two things. We got a big giant TIE fighter. with an action figure. And this super awesome black X-Wing, which is probably one of my favorite things that I bought. Comes with some figures. Alright, what's in this bag? We got some figures. And this plush, it makes noise. I think it makes other noises too. Got some of these little sets. Actually a bunch of them. Got him again. Oh, we got some more little sets and some more figures. I tried to get all of the action figures. I don't know if I did or not because they don't show them on the back. So I don't know which ones there are. More figures. More little ships. And figures. And little ships. And guess what? More figures and little ships. Oh no, it's just figures. Sorry. More figures. Okay, two more bags. Oh, oh see, remember I said they might not be all Star Wars because I forgot to take this out. This is a giant Zelda Link figure. Really cool. Link. Okay, I think the rest is Star Wars. 
We got this ship. Oh wait, what is that? Can't see it. Uh, a salt walker with a stormtrooper. And this is the last bag. We got this weird ship right here where they hold stormtroopers. Pretty cool. And uh, this one with the little R2D2. Very cool. This one feels really light. Looks like it's empty. And I think this is the last thing, which is this new ship. This, uh, what is it? A Ray's Speeder. Very cool. That's a girl in it, Ray. Sorry, sorry if there's spoilers. Very cool ship. Alright, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe if you're not subscribed to see if I open any of this stuff. And tell me if there's anything you want me to open specifically because uh, sometimes I'm not sure what people want to look at. Thanks for watching. Bye!